Are you ready? Ready. Action. And slate. Jonathan Fry, Larry. So I really want to see School of Rock on Broadway. <laughs> that does sound like a plan. Dr. C, why don't you just take us all over there? You mean pay for your tickets? Yes. We all work so hard for you on the show. The least you could do is reward us with a Broadway show. I mean, you got a lot more money than any of us do. So you're saying it should go by who has the most money? <clears throat> Let me tell you a story. My aunt, rest her soul, was the cheapest lady in my mother's family. She was the kind who either had a coupon or she wasn't buying it. Anyway, one day I went into her purse and she was over at a house and took out $10. She had like 500 in there. I know it's hard to believe. I stole. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> Larry, I think you steal from me. It, don't go there, see. You steal, Larry. You know what? I'm missing about five, five bucks in my petty cash. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Dr. C, you don't know who you're playing. Okay, good. Let's uh, keep, keep the camera rolling. Let's do the same. Stay on script this time again. No, John? Yeah, stay on script. Give me a little more. Punch those lines out and slow the pace down a little bit, too. Slow the pace down. So give me, and more of like, um, uh, like we worked together a long time and we're kind of half kidding around as friends, mm -hmm. but also you really want what you're asking for. You know, and you're trying any which way to stick to get me to crack so that I'll, okay, I'll take it. Stop already. I'll take you to the show. All right, and then we'll do the improv. Okay. Here we go again. And Aura, oh, we just want to keep the pace a little bit low so we can see your face. There yeah. you go. Here we go. And action. Larry. Jonathan Fry, Larry. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so I really want to see um, School of Rock on Broadway. That does sound like a plan. Dr. C, why don't you take all of us over there? Wait, you mean pay for your tickets? Mm, yes. We all work very hard for you on this show. The least you could do is read. Ward us with a Broadway show. I mean, you got a lot more money than we do. Oh, <laughs> so you're saying it should go by who has the most money. Hmm. Let me tell you a story. My aunt, rest her soul, was the cheapest lady in my mother's family. She was the kind who either had a coupon or she didn't buy it. Anyway, one day I went to her purse when she was over at our house and I took out $10. She, was, she had like 500 in there. I know it's hard to believe I stole from you. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Larry, I think you steal from me. Oh, don't go there, Dr. C. You steal, Larry. I'm missing about $5 from petty cash. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Dr. C, you don't know what you're playing with. Good. Keep the camera rolling. Don't, don't cut. And now, you can put the script down. You kind of know what, what this is about. And you're trying to get me to buy your tickets mm -hmm. and so forth. Okay, ready? And it's whatever pops in your mind to attack me or whatever. And play it in the camera. Okay, here we go. And scene. So I really want to go see School of Rock on Broadway. Oh, yeah, but the tickets are so expensive, right, Larry? No, oh, that does sound like something you would say. Yeah, yeah, I said it. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to go see something like that. $300 ticket. It's not $300 a ticket. I'm not asking you to give me a box seat. I'm just saying maybe a nosebleed section and that would be fine. Oh, so I mean, you, seriously, uh, you have a lot more money coming your way than go. any of the people here that are on your pay roll. Here we go. Speaking of which, pay roll. Do you think we could get into that conversation at some point or not? What do you mean by that? What do you mean? We're on the air right now and you're talking about how much you get paid and how much you want to get paid. You always bother me about money, Larry. Well, at some point in time, you know, we have to step forward and you know what? You like to speak your mind. You encourage everybody else to speak your mind. I'm speaking my mind right but now. But not so about the show. So much, you know. We should talk about this. We don't we air are talking about lot. the show. This does deal with the way people are paid on a day-to-day -day basis and everybody's sense of value. You were just talking about how you felt undervalued because of that person who, like, spit on you the other day. Yes. They, that, that waitress had no right. She didn't get my order right, and I happened to call her honey, and she spit on me. But doesn't matter. Well, Larry, we're not talking about that. What we're talking about is you. And let me tell you something. You get paid more than any woman on this show. And I've been accused of being a sexist, and that's not right. Just well, because, because I've you. got more experience than any of them, though. They're just on their high horse at the moment because you, they all know that you pay them exactly the same rate. <laughs> and they know that I'm getting paid just a little bit higher than them. But the thing is, is that you keep everything closely guarded and you don't tell them why. Well, maybe if you were to tell them that I've worked with you for five more years than each of those bitches have. Sorry. You're right, Larry. You're right again. I do have to agree. However, can you see my point? 
It doesn't matter if I have, you know, if I make a thousand or two more than you a week. That's not, that's not, that, that's not the, what we're dealing with. What we're dealing with is a guy like you. I'm bringing you along, Levy. Five years we work together. And all you do is stab me in the back. You even take the petty cash. I'm not even stabbing you in the back. I'm saying it'd be nice if you gave us a little treat at the end of each month and took us to a Broadway show. You always want us to stay cultured. You say it's part of our, you know, function, being here, discussing things from a day-to-day -day basis. Well, you know what the big show is at the moment? School of Rock. How about you find that for us? Oh, God. If you shut the F up, I'll buy some tickets to School of Rock. Are you happy, Larry? Woo-hoo! Great.